Okay, so uh, part of my preparations for the workshop is uh, to create an area to slake lime. So I leveled off this little patch here near the workshop and this is going to be the place where I put a couple of tanks and and uh, this mixer. I'm going to be painting this today as well. Got it up on some legs. Um, yeah, I'm going to give it a scratch up with the grinder, give it a coat of paint, protect it over the winter. And then I'm going to get this area yeah, ready to be... Um, for mixing lime and I'll be able to come in here with a little tractor or wheelbarrow, open the thing, get a load of lime or earthen plaster and I'll be able to take it anywhere from here quite easily. So yeah that's the plan. So we're gonna get this uh, scuffed up a little bit and get any rusty bits painted and stuff. So I run out of paint, but I got most of it done. I just need to do a few little bits on the inside of the rails on the inside. Um, so that's freshen that up a little bit, which is nice. Protect it a little bit from the rust. Now I'm gonna have a tidy up of this area, get things organized a little bit. And tomorrow hopefully we're gonna get the, uh, the tanks for there. So yeah, happy with that. Important to maintain machines because I got a lot of different machines because I do a lot of work on my own which means I need machines and these machines do a lot of work so you know they need maintaining they need looking after and then they do a lot of work for you if you don't maintain and look after them then uh, they won't do much work for you and they'll break you'll have to replace them so keep your stuff maintained I'm gonna get this painted I'm gonna get surfaces that aren't gonna get painted like the inside of the drum there not getting painted but I'll, but I'll put a layer of oil or something on them and then I'll cover it up with a tarp over winter come springtime we'll be able to cover it up and it will, it will work we'll oil and do all the grease fittings in it same with the tractor and it'll work then okay so uh, yeah let's uh, go and borrow a trailer from a neighbour and go and get some tanks okay I've just poured in some uh, some veg oil just to coat the bottom so it doesn't get too rusted out during the winter so I just run that like that get, let the oil get into places that should help it not rust up I've got to run it off the generator because the uh, inverter I've got has not got the torque to run it so uh, in order to run this off of my solar and everything I'd have to get a new inverter unfortunately uh, so that'll have to be a thing that goes on the list for now we'd have to use that generator it needs to run anyway because I haven't used it for ages yeah it's working Electric motor fitted. So I've got my uh, my lime slaking tank. So that's what that's going to be. Second hand tank. Got it from uh, eBay. Quite local as well. Borrowed my neighbour's trailer to pick it up. So I'm going to be able to fit a couple of ton of lime um, putty in there. So that's good. And I've just been out to uh, get some limestone. Some limestone in the back of the van here. Uh, just gone and collected some locally. Limestone. We're going to have a go at making our own uh, lime. So we're going to burn this in the wood stove just as experimenting. Have a go at making our own lime putty. Firing it all. We'll make a furnace and everything as well. Just going to experiment, put some in the wood stove tonight, and we'll uh, see if we can actually do it. Learning old skills bringing old skills back to life and saving myself 500 quid a ton on uh, on lime. Okay, so I'll take you in the house and, oh, there's Mavly. <laughs> she always comes and explores and watches me. Okay, take you in the house and we'll uh, see if we can fire something in the wood stove, run the wood stove really hot and see if it works out. Okay, so I'm just getting a fire going. I've got a bit of uh, anthracite from Craig that I found by the beach as well. There's a few seams of anthracite around here. I'm going to get it. That's going to get nice and hot, so I can get this up to temperature. Got the uh, limestone. We're going to burn the limestone, which is a calcium carbonate. It's going to turn. It's going to drive off the carbon dioxide, make it calcium oxide, I believe, and then um, we'll add water to it. You know, it will become quick, quick lime. We'll add water to it. It'll react with the water and turn into a putty, and then. When it gets exposed back to the air, it will turn back into stone again. So that's the plan. I'm going to try and do this little batch here in the wood stove. 
and we'll see if it reacts with water. Okay, so these have been in there about an hour now. I put an oyster shell in there as well. I've been running this really hot. Not hot enough to melt it. I've been keeping an eye on it, as you can see. Oh, man, I can't get too close to that. But the limestone in there is now turning red. And that there is the oyster shell in there. So that's also turning red. So that should, yeah, seems to be working. Oh, man, I've got to shut that. It's too hot. Right, <laughs> I think it's going to work. Obviously we'd we'll have to build a proper kiln because it can't do it in the wood stove all the time, but this is just for a, an experiment. Okay, so I've taken out the uh, oyster shell. The stones are still in there. The stones are actually glowing red hot, which is pretty awesome. I'm going to let that cool and see if that's done. I'm trying to get a gauge of how long this takes so I can get an understanding of it. So yeah, I'll let this cool down and see if it's quick one. Okay, let's see if this reacts. I can see steam. It is breaking down. I think it's just not completely done yet. No, it needs longer. Okay, well that answered the question at least. It's only slightly done. So it has to sit in the heat for much, much longer. I think it's been in a bit longer and, and it's actually broken up a little bit. Um, it's still hot, so let's see. Still not reacting. Okay, so I suppose next we'll try a piece of stone. Okay, so I don't know what was going on with the uh, oyster shell, but that bit of limestone is still very hot, so I should have probably let it cool down, but that is definitely reacting and breaking up. We should definitely open the door. There we go. That's the reaction. That's the reaction we wanted. But not completely burnt, I don't think. Because there's still parts of it that aren't. See, there's some unburnt bits. That. That's what we want to see. There we go, that reacted but there's some unburnt parts. So it was a lack of heat, I think. It just needs to get a little bit hotter. And uh, cause this was right in the embers. So and that bit's unburnt still. But yeah, just a little bit hotter and we'll get there. Okay, so I'm gonna try again with another piece. This piece is now cooled down. I can hold it in my hand. I know I shouldn't be doing this indoors, but it looks like it's calcified. I think that's the right term. Looks like it has. Let's see if it reacts. Well, that's working for sure. supposed to happen I believe. Keep it cooled off. There we go. There's like a couple of bits in there that aren't that are still stone I think. 
There we go, it's working. Good. Okay, I'm getting somewhere. So, just need to build a kiln now. There we go. One putty. <laughs> it's quite rewarding actually. That's uh, a little bit of unburnt there. Look. That's a bit of stone still. Okay, so I just need to get it a bit hotter, a bit longer. So I think I've got an understanding of it now, so now I think I'm in a position where I can build a kiln and actually fire quite a bit of this. Burns finished. Um, these are still warm, but they're not hot. I can hold them in my hands. See, some of them have done a complete burn, like that one. It's looking pretty good. Uh, some of the bigger ones haven't, though. Um, the bigger ones are still kind of hot. I can't pick them up by hand. Oh, there's actually a really good example there. Let me have a look at that one there. Look see where it hasn't gotten into the middle so I just need a bit more heat for a bit longer so that's one the sole idea of this experiment is to learn how to do it and it's definitely more of an outdoor job but we're in a shed now with a lid with a saucepan so chuck that in there it's going to react with the water and there it goes Big a bit maybe. See it breaking down. It's the reaction we want. So that's creating lime putty now. Oh, you can see there's not. It's not completely done. The centre of the rock is still there. See that one wasn't all the way down through to the middle. Okay, that's what this is all about, just learning. Let's try. Popping and spluttering. Just to make sure I've made it clear, these aren't hot, I can pick these up in my hands, that's a, a thermal reaction happening there. Looks like it's completely done. It looks like it'll be alright. Quite cool, right? Right, well, I think I've learned everything I need to learn from this experiment. So in the next video we shall be building a lime kiln and trying to do a couple hundred kilos out of it and uh, slaking it in the big container I got today. Okay so I was about to end the video there but um, I just thought I'd quickly give you a shot of this. I've got a few little bits of unburnt stuff in there, like there, but that is lime made in a wood stove from limestone that I found locally. So that's pretty good going I reckon. So that's what we're going to do. We'll do that on a big scale, make a couple of tons of it, a kiln, and we're going to save ourselves well over a thousand pounds doing so, and better for the environment because the stuff you buy is fired with gas, I'll be doing it with wood, so much better. Okay, so hope you enjoyed the video and thanks for watching.